Deacon Sakari. We back at it like a crack at it. They done let them bruise in the dough. In this wicked industry. Damn, to shine the light. Uh. They done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh, they done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. He bruised. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Look, Joe Biden need the free dark low. The hell is wrong with dude? No Alamolek, but I got perfect vision in the dark. I'm a lexicon, I'm a megalodon, all my verses ripping them apart. Mosaic law with the church is missing, it's the worst religion from the start. In my soul where the word is written, out of circumcision, not a heart. I'm rocking my fringes, I'm in Seattle, rocking like Hendrix. No industry gimmicks, you rappers to finish, I'm kicking the door off the hinges. Throwing stones like you sinless till you get the finish, you should have repented in minute. This truth is endless, they loving the image. I know what happened to Kim. What happened to Kim? I keep my pencil on point, no sharpener. Used to weigh pounds of troll, I lay down the flow like carpenters. She causing division in the sisterhood, I'm marked. I'm preparing to wait for the harvester. I'm a harbinger. Pop a purse, popping mollies, and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True. Some sisters is dead traps, hair wraps, but you still a thought though. The church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. Selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. Ishmaelite. You can show a nigga slave ships in the Bible, still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then a the nigga gotta find out what them missiles like. Culture. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the indigenous people who don't look like you phenotypically, I'm talking about on the walls in archaeology who look like the people we say are the northern kingdom, they said that they are Israelites, they have Hebrew language dialects and writings and ten commandments who came over here and taught them that if they are not hebrew israelites our people came over here and taught them okay prove that to me please you just proved it with with ezra's so when we, our script when, is america i'm just saying if we're gonna go and say our script is america you just proved that with your own with your own here, script. I got something. Brother, you just said you said our script was north africa now you're so your head is rolling down the block now you're saying our script is america okay so king david laid with heathen woman right yes was it a sin for him yes okay. i got it okay. go ahead first kings 15 and 5 because david did that which was right in the eyes of the lord and turn not aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life, save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. Right. So why is it saying he only committed one sin? That's not, I mean, you. All right. These brothers are on. These brothers are on. I believe this is them. Question. Mike check, Mike check. Shalom. Shalom. If you want to turn off your YouTube, but keep the stream yard open. Yeah, I got it turned off. Shalom. Happy new moon. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, my brothers. All praises. So we finally are here in the spirit. All praises. Um, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves and let's go ahead and get this started. Yeah. You got Azariah here. Malachi. Soldier self. Okay. Uh you guys camp name, where you guys located? We from Mississippi. We stationed in Canton, Mississippi. Um, we the mighty saints of Yeshaya. Okay, con all praises, all praises. All right. Well, you know, your brothers reached out to me, and um, I believe you wanted to speak about the northern kingdom, um, the virgin birth, and then adding to the law. Yeah, we got some um um we want to hit on some aspects of the of the of the law, the truth of the law and what exactly is the law um um the virgin birth and um the northern kingdom but we not we're 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 not bringing this forth like uh other camps have brought the northern kingdom forth um we we just talking about the law saying um about uh like inheritance of an Israelite and um, being a um, 
a mix a mixed breed between an Israelite and a, a, a any heathen nation or something like that. Okay, so well, let's start with the Northern Kingdom. Uh, because go ahead, go ahead. Because we 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 seen some of your debates of against um like other Israelites or other um camps um about um the the Northern Kingdom being like the twelve tribes chart um specifically um like I got a question about it so uh if 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 the scriptures tells us that we are scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth and multiple prophecies state that he's going to bring um the other nations are going to bring us and from um uh, where where we were scattered through the four quarters and we were going to coming out of all these captivities from where Esau um shipped us off at throughout the four quarters of the earth so if we use the 12 tribes chart that only gives a western i would say a western uh, image or appearance or even a description to even look for israelites scattered throughout the four quarters so like if you say like the even if you say the indigenous mexicans uh are the 12 tribes um if 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 this person, if a person was born in China and he's from the tribe of Issachar, but his 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 people never even like his lineage never even went to the um to this side of the earth, or he's from Zebulon or Nephtali or any other t other ten kingdoms, um uh, ten tribes, like you know, how would that even apply to him? I'm, I'm not understanding the latter part of what you said whatsoever. What are you saying? What do you not understand? So you what said if, some, if there's a brother from the tribe of Issachar and he lives in China, I'm, I'm trying to understand what that has to do with what you're talking about. We're, okay, I'm going to ask you like this. Were we not scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth? Yes, we were. Okay, so were all 12 tribes scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth? Sure. Okay, so if a tribe member of the tribe of Issachar was scattered to China okay. and his people were never in Mexico. Like his, his, his family lineage never went to Mexico. They was, um, they probably left the Grecian islands or, and they settled in what well, may not be China, but Russia or any other part of earth, Australia, um, Africa or anything. How would saying that posting a, a chart of 12, I mean, of 12 tribes and saying the Mexicans would apply to him. Uh, well, I'll just say this. What you're speaking on is an anomaly, um, an outlier, something that doesn't occur very much. So uh, what we're dealing with, with the Bible, how, 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 let, me, how, let, me, how, let me explain. Let me read you a scripture and explain. Watch this. So are we scared, scattered to the four corners of the earth? Absolutely, we are. Um, however, let me read you this scripture, Jeremiah 16 and 14. Hold on, hold on, hold on real quick. So lock you. One second. Uh, without 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 going to deviate too much, because I wanted to ask a question initially, but I want to get there because it's going to segue into the 12 tribe chart. And I want you to bring that out aside for sure. Mm -hmm. But he mentioned something in his opening statement that I just wanted to get clarity on. And then we can go right back to this. Um, are you under the school of thought or in the school of thought that you have to have a Israelite mother and Israelite father in order to be an Israelite? Well, when I say that, um, according to the law, um, you have to have a Israelite mother and Israelite father to receive an inheritance. Like if you have, if you was a considered a bastard and when you, and I seen when y'all debated, um another brother um y'all went into the um the blue letter or y'all pulled the concordance and when you pull up the concordance it it it, it says a jewish man um with a heathen mother and then when you go to a blue letter it's gonna say it on one of the definitions or vice versa so anytime like there was a commandment given right or wrong 
I mean, I'm gonna say it like this: Was there a commandment given to not get lay with the to not to go into the other nation and sleep with them? No. So there was no. No, show us. When you read Deuteronomy seven and three, can you start at verse one? <laughs> Hold on, Deuteronomy chapter seven. Yeah. It says, "When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gigashites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hittite, I mean the Hivites and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou." And when the Lord thy God shall deliver thee before thee, thou shalt, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor sh show mercy upon unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages un with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Right. So where's all nations at there? You just said seven nations. So are you saying that you can marry a Edomite? No, you're saying that the Bible says all nations, but you can't show that. No, I'm. what I'm saying is that we were not to give our seed to the other nations. Is that correct or not? Where did We just asked you to show it in the law, and you mentioned seven nations, not all nations. So show it, let's try it again. Show us in the law. Hold on one minute. While he's getting that deacon, um, I'm not gonna, not now, but I just want to let you know. He, I want to go to the blue letter to prove a point for a statement that he made earlier, but go I'll ahead. let him go there. Go ahead. Not, I don't want to jump the gun too much. I want him to All answer right. that. All right. Hey, 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 Deacon, Deacon, can yeah. you can you hear me, brother? Yeah. Who is this? Uh, th this is uh, I, I, I'm Andrew. I, I'm just calling in. Um, I, I don't mean to, to interrupt, but I just want to say uh, someone's coming to pick me up in three minutes. I, I just wanted to come on and ask one thing. So if you could give give just give me uh, after the brother answers what you ask him, if you Wait, could allow you, me to just you, ask one quick. Are you, are you Caucasian? No, uh, I'm, I'm a Mexican. OK, ask your question real quick since you got to go. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. A uh, uh, shallow warm for everyone on here. But I just wanted to ask one question, and that would be about. Um, because I hear you brothers speak about Paul, right? But one thing I was reading in his uh, his, his letters is uh, I believe the verse is uh, what is that? First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse uh, thirty-seven. I'm nearly paraphrasing it, but it says that all things that write unto you are from the inspiration of the Most High. Could, could you get the precept real quick, brother? No, it says that let him know that all the things I write unto you are commandment. Right, right, but but okay, from the inspiration of the Most High. It doesn't say that there. Could, could, could you read the uh, could you read the verse? Because I don't have my my Bible. Go ahead. Let me just let me start at verse thirty four. First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four. Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. That's the context. The context is is Paul quoting the law. That's why he continues on to say in verse 37, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you, the things that he just quoted from the law, are the commandments of the Lord. He's not saying that everything he writes down is a commandment from the Lord. He's letting you know that the things that he just priorly spoke on are commandments from the Lord. That's what he's talking about. OK, yeah, that, that's cool. I just wanted to uh, to call in and ask about that. You know, to see your your perspective on that precept. All right. So, uh, so thank you, and uh, and I'll, we'll say shalom. 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 All right, brother Azariah, go ahead. You got it. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me see that. Do it wrong. Also, too. So, I wanted to um, ask you while you're pulling that up. So you said you have to have an Israelite mother and Israelite father. So can you prove that your mother has an Israelite mother and Israelite father and your dad has an Israelite mother and Israelite father and their parents have Israelite mothers and Israelite fathers? Have you took a DNA test to see if you have any heathen blood in you? Um, uh, like yeah, I can. I can prove that my mother and father have Israelite fathers and their mothers and fathers are Israelites and their fathers and mothers are Israelites, too. So you can prove going down to 10 generations that 
you there's no heathen mix, no Hamite mix, no Irish mix, no Native American mix. Well, well, that's what I'm trying to um, get to understanding because, like, I'm I don't want you to think I'm attacking this as um they like they won't they they won't get um they won't be in the kingdom or they won't get um like they're gonna be destroyed you believe, you, like, believe, you believe that gentiles can be saved no okay, we don't no, no 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 don't believe that gentiles can be saved <laughs> as in as in as in respect of to israelite salvation no i don't believe that but um the scripture does say that multiple the it's gonna be um the multiple kingdoms in the um the kingdom of god so i mean multiple nations in the kingdom of god so and so then that's gonna be subservient my question though is have you took a dna test and can you can you show us the results well if well nobody can take i mean nobody could take a dns and show results like that's what that's that's what i mean you can, can nobody take dna results and prove that they are israelite so no, how I'm not you proving it, no, I'm not proving you're Israelite. I'm saying proving you're not mixed since you believe that you have to have an Israelite mother and Israelite father. You're saying that. Well, since, well, prove, well, pro, well, saying saying that you're not like even even uh, the 12 tribes, even Abraham had different uh, uh, like it, it's not, like when you say different mixed with different bloods, like it's going to show up as in where these people were made where these people were from or these where these people was indigenous from but if you like if even if, even with that uh you can't you can't, you can't you can't prove that nobody is a certain race with a dna test <laughs> well i'll tell you what if that's the case we got a bigger problem so let's yeah. just get to the nitty-gritty um so you believe that it's a sin to uh for a israelite to lay with a heathen woman yes okay we, we, did king david lay with him the king david lay with heathen women well king david was a was a king oh and, so and but king king king, that, king david wait, king david king, like? king, that, king david committed murder and god you know um, but it's but it was a live. sin but it said he committed a sin is what i'm asking you so you're saying a king can commit his his adultery by your logic, what you're saying is that a king commit adultery, it wouldn't be adultery for him. That's not what the Bible says. No, said. that's not what I'm saying. I said that God let him live after he committed murder and adultery. Okay, so King David laid with heathen woman, right? Yes. Was it a sin for him? Yes. Okay. I got it. Again. Go ahead. First Kings 15 and 5. Because David did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord, and turn not aside from anything that he commanded him all the days of his life, save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. Right. So why is it saying he only committed one sin? That's not. I mean, you're alluding to the. You're 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 alluding to that. What does it mean? Save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. That he did everything God told him to do. Except what he did with Uriah the Hittite, right? He did. He did everything God told him to do. When God, when, okay. when, when, brother, when God, when God, when God came and down, gave him an order, he did it. Brother, what's your name? Azariah. Azariah. Right. Slow down, brother. Understand what I'm asking you. The Bible verse that we just read said that King David did not turn aside from anything that God commanded him, except save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. What does that mean? Save only in the matter of Uriah the Hittite. Brother Azariah? Yeah, I can't I couldn't hear you. What you say? Oh, yeah, that's where we're going. Well, 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 here, here's what I'll do real quick. Just kind of no, 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 no. Real talk. Uh, what did you say like the last 10 seconds? Well, he's asking you, it says he didn't break any commandments except for the commandment of adultery. And you don't agree with this verse? So you saying he only committed adultery, he murdered too. That's two commandments. Yeah, but that was all a part of the same. It says it's but there's two only that's, in the matter. What is the matter of Uriah the Hittite? He committed murder and adultery. Right, right, right. So that's the matter. My bad. Not one sin. You're right about that. But he said the only matter that he broke the commandments was the adultery and murder. 
But is it a okay? Is it a commandment that a bastard should not enter to the kingdom for ten gen? I mean, enter to current grace for ten, ten generations. Okay, real quick, real quick, real quick. So, that, and that's why I was. Let that's why I was, let's that's get to why. the bastard. Let's get to the bastard. And all we're doing, if you guys are listening, this isn't this isn't a a, a cut a cut. This isn't a cut or confounding. What we're why we're doing this is we're trying to say. Israelites can look differently because you are who your father is, and we're proving this. So my question is: is let's say but it's that one that you, hold on, that hold on, brother, hold on. Let me let me just fully articulate my question so you can answer sufficiently. If you believe that it's a sin to marry a heathen woman or to lay with her, is that baby still an Israelite? Yes or no? That baby is a is a is by scripture a bastard. Okay, so King David has a baby by this heathen woman and he is no, King Absalom the Judite. How do you reconcile that? Let me show you right here, verse two, first Chronicles three and two. The third, Absalom, the son of Melchi, the daughter of Talmai, the king of Jeshur. This is a heathen woman who had King Absalom and he's in Chronicles as a Judite and was king over us. He, well, how did he become king over us? Because he's David's son. He, no, he he he. Absalom became king over because he was sneaking and conniving, and he did um, horrendous acts against the anointed of God, which was David. He didn't become king because uh, okay, because fine. God anointed who, who him. Get, who cares if he's king yeah. or not? Why did it, why is he listed? But you did, you you brought you brought that you brought no, you brought that you to the forefront. This, you can you, have it, even though I could I could I could address that. The Bible still calls him a Judite. You said that they can't enter the king. Kingdom was, and why did he get okay? Watch, I'm, he's about to get cut. Watch this, watch this. Now I gotta cut you. So you said he didn't get elected, yeah, because he uh, he over for over a span of 20, 30, 40 years, he was um um manipulating his way into power. And then when his father got old, he what you would call he 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 did he turned the um he turned his the the forces of the, some of the forces of the military against David. Okay, but Salaki, Salaki, okay, but Deacon, okay, so brother Azariah, what tribe was Absalom from? Well, he well according to the scripture, because his father was David, that was only by inheritance. Like, okay, that, brother, what tribe is he from? Just answer it. I'm saying Judah. Uh, okay, so wait a minute. I thought if a man has sex with a non-Israelite woman. I didn't say I didn't I said I said by context of the scripture he would be a bastard because okay, when you, I get what you're saying. So the Bible says he's a Judite, but you're saying he's not a Judite. The Bible if okay, if if Bible gives a description of a bastard being a Jewish man or Judah, a man of the 12 tribes. Yeah. Show where the Bible. No, no, show where the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Salakia, if, Salakia. If, if, Salakia. Yeah. if the Bible gives a description in Deuteronomy of a bastard being a uh uh a Israelite man laying with a heathen woman or a heathen woman or a he, uh, Israelite woman laying with a heathen man. Show that, where the Bible gives that definition. Hold on. Show yeah, show where the Bible gives that definition. And while you're doing that, do you believe in the Trinity? Yes or no? No. Okay. All right. Let the record show he does not believe in the Trinity. <laughs> Why would I believe in the Trinity? I got you. Just just go ahead and prove in the Bible where it says that a bastard is a uh, so-called mixed person. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. It say a bastard should not enter into the congregation of the Lord. When I didn't, go, brother, real when, quick, I didn't when, ask when you, you to read. Real quick, brother. I didn't ask you to read the scripture. I asked you to show me where the Bible says that what a bastard is. Let him, let him, let him build his case. Go ahead, brother. Hey, brother, you cut out, you cut out. You can't, if you're on your phone, you can't, uh, you can't click out to like search for stuff. Cause it'll knock you out the stream yard. Hello? Azariah. Um, we can't hear you, brother, if you can hear us. Yeah, if you can hear us, you might have to leave and then come back, bro. Can you, can you, what, what, yeah, what, no, what, you're, what, you're good now, you're good now. 
what 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 what, what what did you hear last? The last thing he asked you was, "Where does the Bible explain it?" Not okay. not not the word usage that you're gonna go to. Like, where is the biblical that like like in Jeremiah thirty one it says? This well, is that, well, that's what that's what the concordance is for to go back and look at what the word meant in Hebrew. Okay. So, so when in the, in the Hebrew, the word bastard, when people use the word bastard, it would mean a, a, when a when a twelve when a man of the twelve tribes lay with a heathen woman. Or a woman of the twelve tribes laid with a heathen man. So okay. by de by biblical definition, Absalom would have been a bastard, even though his father was from the tribe of Judah, and even though he was an Israelite, he would have been a bastard. Okay, so real quick, let me respond, Deacon. Can you show my screen real quick? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Here's why. Here's why I asked the brother if he believes in the Trinity. Now, number one, he's saying, "Go ahead, share it." I can't see it. Share it. I'm not. I'm not trying to share. It. I just want to show my screen, like, oh, okay. like, like my screen. Okay, okay my bad. So, um, this is why I asked the brother if he believes in the Trinity. He said, "No." When you look at the not now, mind you, he said the Bible definition. That's the Bible definition doesn't say. Uh, so-called male person. That's what James Strong, the concordance, says. Now, using his same so, logic, so y'all don't use a concordance. Right. No, let him, let him, Salakia, Salakia, real quick, brothers. Let's, 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 let's try to be more decent in order. That goes for both sides. All right. So we let him kind of go into his premise. So let his side go into his premise, and then we'll bounce back and forth like that. Go ahead, Assad. The same concordance, when you look up the definition of God, says the Trinity. It says it about six times. So if we're to use that, well, brother, the concordance says this. So it's got to be, that means you you must be a Trinitarian. So what's important to do is what I asked you to do, which is show me where the Bible defines it, not where James Strong's defines it. If you just mm -hmm. keep reading in Deuteronomy 23, it lets you know what a bastard is. That's why the very next verse mentions the Moabites and Ammonites, who are byproducts of what? Of incest, because that's what the biblical usage of the word bastard is. So in this context, it's a inbreed child, not a so-called mixed child. Yeah, the, and, so, and, and, so, and quick, I'm so, gonna give it, I'm gonna give it right to you, Azariah. Uh, what does it mean uh to hope. not enter into the congregation of the Lord? What does it mean when to not enter to the congregation of the Lord? And that they can't enter into the congregation of the Lord. They mean they can't um, receive an inheritance that was due to the congregation of the t t tribe of Israel. What's an inheritance? Can you break that down? The inheritance that God gave Israel. Which, which is what? Which means the land, the produce, the resources, the, the okay. promises. Okay. So according to you, King Absalom is a bastard in Mamzer. And he wasn't able to live in the land, get any his, resources his, from the land or anything like that. I mean, his dad was the king. I mean, God told them to kill all the Moabites and the Moabites were still around. Okay, so you're all... so okay. like that's what I'm trying to say. And then we're like, if you're going to say that if you're going to use like the the verse after Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse two to state that a bastard is only uh uh child incest when you go to the to the blue letter like i seen y'all do on the last debate it has a comma after bastard it has illegitimate son and a child of incest so all three of those could be used in the term of a bastard so sure. you're not getting it brother um at all and it's it's kind of weird because it's so obvious. I just no. I'm saying no. I'm saying like if you're gonna say if you're gonna if you're gonna use the verse after Azariah, slow down, brother. Do you believe? You said you do not believe in the Trinity. I yes don't. Yes or no? Did that same Strong's concordance that you're basing your entire argument off of? Did it not say that the def, one of the definitions of God for the definitions of God is the Triune God? Did it not just say that? Yes, but oh, even, so hold on. So wait a minute. That means you're agreeing then that the no, blue letter, hold on, no. slow down, slow down, Azariah. You must be then agreeing that the blue letter Bible's definitions are not always correct. Right? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay. Oh, with it, with... If, okay. So if you agree then that the blue letter Bible's definitions are not always correct, how can you then come up against us for saying the exact same thing you're saying, which is the blue letter Bible's definition is not correct right here. I didn't say the blue letter definition Bible is not correct. Oh, so you said, didn't believe in the truth. I, no, no. I said, I said when you used it, you only used one definition of the word that, that had many definitions. So when you oh, use... Yeah, let's, let's look at that word in the Greek. Theos. 
In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. God, the Godhead Trinity. God. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about the train. I'm talking about the bad. Slow down, brother. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what you just spoke on, which was the, which is the Blue Letter Bible's definition. <laughs> Look how many times it says the Trinity, Godhead, Trinity, God the Father, the first person of the Trinity, Christ, the second person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. So, I, according to your logic, then that means either one or two things is going on. We're you're not talking about the Trinity. Hold on. Either you're a Trinitarian, or you concede that the Blue Letter Bible is not always accurate in its. Uh, De definitions no that's not i'm not a trinitarian i'm not agreeing i'm i'm not a trinitarian so we don't need to even talk about the trinity we need to we need to stay on topic with this word bass okay okay and, okay okay so let's go let's go let's go back to mamzer it says they can't enter into the congregation forever do you agree with the text that's talking about the ammonites and the moabites no 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 no, no. it says okay let's talk about the ammonites and the moabites okay so That's, but a bastard a bastard hold on, hold on hold on let's watch this watch this deuteronomy 23 and 2 a bastard shall not enter into the congregation to the lord even to his 10th generation shall he not enter do you agree with the text yes okay even at the 10th generation they can't enter where even to the 10th generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the lord right so he's saying up until the 10th generation they can't enter no, it's saying even till his 10th generation shall he not enter into the congregation. What does till mean upon happening? So upon the, upon the happening of the 10th generation, he can't enter. It doesn't say till. It says even to his 10th generation. Even, even to, until. even to, meaning at the beginning of the 10th generation, no. even to his 10th <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me prove that okay, that's not right. Okay. Well, hold on real quick, because I'm going somewhere with this, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So an Ammonite or a Moabite cannot enter into the congregation of the Lord forever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go to Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 1. Why do we see heathens in the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ? And you said heathens, or yeah. are you going to mention just Ruth? Okay, so I mean, Ruth, Ruth is a heathen, right? She was a Moabite. Okay, so it says that they cannot, anything that's a product of an Ammonite or Moabite can't enter to the congregation. Is Jesus Christ a product of a Moabite? Yes or no? Deacon, you have to slow down. It said a Moabite or Ammonite could not enter to the congregation forever. A bastard could not enter the congregation even, I mean, until his 10th generation. Brother, if it says forever, that means everything that Mamzer produces can't enter into the congregation, right? Yes. Okay. Is Christ a product of a Moabite? But how many generations was it between Ruth and Christ? It doesn't matter because you just admitted they can't enter forever. A Moabite or Ammonite. Ruth is a Moabite. You just said that. Yes, but her father, but the Boaz was a uh, Israelite. Watch the deacon. Are are Moabites and Ammonites bastards? By context of one of the definitions, they are child of incest. Okay, By, but they're but like I said, y'all never brought y'all. You have to go back to the blue letter um word for bastard because there's more definitions for the word bastard. Is bastard an illegitimate son or? <laughs> Or a uh, child of incest. Okay, so Ruth's son, right, was a mamzer and a bastard, right? Yes, by context of the scripture. Okay, can a mams can a mamzer bastard enter into the congregation ever? By law, no. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go, Deacon. He's finally conceded. <laughs> so that means Christ can't enter into the congregation. No, that Christ, yeah. Christ, Christ. Christ, okay, when y'all when y'all say that, like y'all can't eat, y'all can't use Christ like he's one of us. Like he, what do you mean he's not one of us? <laughs> I didn't say I didn't say he's not one of us. We know. Yes, he's you did. You just said no, that. I'm saying you can't use him like he he's being married to to the to the twelve. He's being married to the bride, the twelve tribe. So like okay. he, he he rules the twelve tribe. Okay. So like and he, so King he, David, King he, David's right here. King he, David's right here. He's a product of Ruth. Yeah, why God. Is but God, why but, is he entering into the congregation? 
God anointed him. But okay. by law, that that don't mean just because God anointed David, that don't mean, oh, we can just do away with that law and say okay to every say okay for everybody else doing All this. Right. Right. You, know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? At this juncture, let's get into I think we talked enough about our our is an Israelite man who has a baby by a heathen woman. Is the baby still an Israelite? I think everybody, at least majority of the community, is going to agree. Yes, the baby's an Israelite. I think we proved it with the Bible. Let's talk about the Northern Kingdom. What where did you, are they? Where the Northern Kingdom are? Yes. Where are the Northern Kingdom right now? The court. The well. The, the curses say that all twelve tribes will be scattered. So all twelve tribes will be scattered throughout the full quarter. So there are remnants of all twelve tribes, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, throughout the whole world. Okay. So, with that being said, the Bible says that the northern kingdom will be in Arsareth. Where is Arsareth? Well, you're going to say it's America. What are no, you going to say? Saying, you're saying. You're but saying if we, can, we, can, we can pull Esdras. Wait, no, wait. listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. You're saying that the tribes are not predominantly in one geographical locale. We're saying that's a lie according to prophecy. And so you're saying that they're all scattered. But the Bible says the Northern Kingdom, by and large, predominantly would be in this one place, Arsareth. So, according to your understanding, where is it? Well, according to Second, according to Ezra thirteen, when you when you read the read the verse right up under forty read forty six. I'm simply asking you, brother. According to your understanding, where is Arsareth? Just give me a clear cut answer. Where are you gonna say it's America? No, we're asking you where it is, bro. Where is it, Azariah? I mean, is where Arsarith is. <laughs> this nigga's so full of shit. <laughs> so where is Arsarith? Do you know? Can Did we pull a second? Can we, can we pull a second? Is the start team? Yeah, let's get let's get let's get that. He's gonna show us where the geographical locale of Arsareth is. All praises, our brothers finna show us. So let's go to Zechariah 13. I'm sorry, I said Zechariah, second is 13. And let's start at verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which are carried away prisoners out of their own land at the time of Ose the king, who Solomon Esther, king of Assyria, led away captives, and he carried them over the waters, and so they came into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. They entered into the Euphrates by the narrow uh, places of the river, for the Most High showed them signs and held still the flood till they passed over. For through the country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half, and the same region is Arsareth. Where is Arsareth, sir? Well, it has to be over the when they crossed the Euphrates. Okay, where do you know? So the Euphrates is a long river. Uh, do you have an idea of where? Where, Euphra is? where Euphrates would be, where what they call, uh, where the where, like where the Middle East or, um, what is that? Middle East or Northern East African? Okay, so. Arsareth, now we got an answer. So Arsareth is in the Middle East or Northern East Africa. So the Bible says, then they dwelt there until the latter time. So the Bible says that the 10 tribes will be in Arsareth until basically the end of the world. Um, and you're saying they're scattered, but the Bible says they're in a specific location. And you're saying it's Northern Africa. Well, we well, we know that we, well, we know that the bulk of the bulk of the 10 tribes, you're trying to say the bulk of the ten tribes came to Arsuri. That's what the Bible says. It didn't say bulk. Okay, let's let's read. It, it. say those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. It didn't right. say the bulk. It said those. So when they was when they was saying it, it was just saying those people over there are the the ten tribes that came out over here out. Because if we're gonna say that the bulk of them, who were the Samaritans? Who were the who were the Corinthians? Who were the um Ephesians, these people that were scattered throughout the Greek and Roman Empire. And then okay, watch this. I think even Christians would agree on this. Okay, so 
You're saying that the bulk of the northern kingdom didn't go into captivity with the Assyrians, brother? You would be I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't say that. Okay. I, so I, we we know the that, we know the northern tribe went into captivity with Assyria and when okay. Nebuchadnezzar well, when King Nebuchadnezzar when King no the bulk of yes Sennacherib came and enslaved the northern kingdom and when King Nebuchadnezzar took over he enslaved all the kingdoms. Oh my goodness. Okay. Because he 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 hold on he, hold on hold on was Jeremiah during the Nebuchadnezzar's Babylonian he, period? Ne Je he, Nebuchadnezzar was in the southern kingdom, and Nebuchadnezzar took the the, I'm the southern you, kingdom. Is Jeremiah contemporaneous to Nebuchadnezzar. Yes. Okay. Jeremiah says in verse chapter seven, verse fifteen, "I will cast you out of my sight." Talking to the northern kingdom, as, as I have cast out all of your brethren even the whole seed of ephraim why is jeremiah saying during the time of nebuchadnezzar the northern kingdom is already gone because a, the king sennacherib had already came and got them then why would you say that nebuchadnezzar had both kingdoms in captivity when jeremiah who lived when king, the, the, the king, him, said they the, were gone the king that by historical fact the king nebuchadnezzar not overthrow the assyrian um did he not just destroy the Syrian government and take yes. over their land. Yes, but show where he took exactly. So if he took over, if, if 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 we were already slaves in that in the Assyrian captivity in their land and wherever we was up under Assyrian captivity, and Nebuchadnezzar came and overthrew them, just like when the Grecians overthrew the Medo Persians and the Romans overthrew the Grecians, they all took when they took their land, they took everything that was in their land, which means their slaves, their 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 resources and everything. So when King Nebuchadnezzar came and took over Assyria, he he he. The Bible even mentions that King Nebuchadnezzar God laid the whole world at King Nebuchadnezzar's feet. Go in the Bible and show Nebuchadnezzar had the Northern Kingdom in slavery. You got the floor. <clears throat> Hold on. Besides, you got it. I know I've been ranting. No, it's um, it's radioactive, brother. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, not what I expected, buddy. Because, because, brother, just show the verse. If you can't, say you can't, and we can move on. Well, you can't show that with the scripture. You can't. Okay. All but right. that does. But that does not mean by historical fact that it didn't happen. Okay. So you. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Salaki. Real quick. Show us in history. Give us a historical source. You go to history.com. History.com says Nebuchadnezzar had the Northern Kingdom in slavery. No, it's going to show that he is he he ruled the same kingdom that that the Assyrians rule under his kingdom. He had oh, the I'm whole glad. world enslaved. Oh, so I'm glad he, you said he, that. If he had the whole world enslaved, he had us enslaved. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Verse 41, you just admitted that the Northern Kingdom was taken into slavery by the king of Assyria. Now, they took them counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. So did they or did they not bounce out from Assyria and just like Jeremiah said, okay, they were okay, we, we, can play, we can play on that. We can play on that thought. Even, 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 yeah, because because our people were scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth, our people were would be on every landmass. But what we're saying is that the 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 people you identify as the Northern Kingdom and the people we identify as the Northern Kingdom are two different people. What are you talking about, Azariah? That is not anything even close to what Deacon just presented to you. Are you listening, brother? You said that because the king of uh, Babylon destroyed and overtook the king of Assyria, that that meant that he was controlling their land and the northern kingdom was there, according to you. So that means he was controlling both the southern and northern kingdom. But Deacon just proved in 2nd Exodus 13 that the northern kingdom came up with a plot to dip out from the Syrians. What are you talking about, bro? Honestly, what, do you, what are you talking about?
is that you said it so it's you said in second is 13 41 40 and 41 yes <laughs> yes sir. salman Nassar, the king of assyria led away the 10 tribes and he carried them over the waters and so came they into another land but they the 10 tribes took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the, he of the heathen <laughs> okay okay now i got a question for no, you no 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 what does it mean they would leave the multitude of the heathen it mean they would get away from the heathens okay so why are you saying that they were enslaved to the heathens but the bible just because they, they would because the they, the because they because they were real quick real quick one second one second Salaki, we do oh. as a right one second i'm gonna give it right back to you but i want to address uh james t james t and also Avido Edwards, I want you guys to click the link after the, uh, after this, um, so we can get you brothers on there too, because you guys just said some something so stupid. I can't wait to address that. So don't be hardcore in the chat. Click the link and get this work. Um, go ahead, Azariah Salakia. Right. So Azariah, you so so let him let him get it. Go ahead, Azariah. So with with a punt. With with y'all saying that, who were the Samaritans? The Samaritans are a mixture of Israelites, and I want to just clarify what we said uh, from what, the beginning. What, what tribes were the Samaritans from? What tribe were the Corinthians from? What tribe was the Ephesians from? What tribe was the um the the Colossians from? What tribe? Mm -hmm. be, what those, tribe are, these those would be those would be predominantly. Southern Kingdom Israelites. Now, listen before you respond. We're saying that both tribes, according to history, archaeology, and prophecy, which we're going to get there and prove, both tribes are predominantly and by and large here in the Americas, in Mystery Babylon, with a remnant of us scattered through all places of the earth. That's all we're saying. Now, if you're trying to say the Corinthians are Northern Kingdom, but you got the Lord, give me the book chapter verse that says the Corinthians and Ephesians are Northern Kingdom Israelites. Go ahead. You got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because you just said that, that prophecy is going to prove that predominantly that the 12 tribes would be in Babylon, right? Yes. Where is Babylon? America. America. And what is America? Archery. Uh, archery. Is America United States and Great Britain Alliance or like what are you saying America is? Because uh, if we're gonna say if we're gonna say North, we're gonna say, North say, America, North America and its provinces, to be specific, the fourth part of the earth. But uh, Babylon is not North America. Babylon is United States, brother. So the bulk, so the bulk of the twelve tribes are in the United States. But all the twelve tribes are also scattered throughout the twelve. Hold on, you just said. You yeah, just said. Yeah, you yeah. Just said there is no bulk. Now you're saying there's no. A bulk. I said the scripture did not say the bulk. Okay, well we're gonna show you. We're gonna show yeah. you Asad. I'm gonna give it to you. This is gonna be your time to go into what you wanted to. What I stopped you for. Mm -hmm. Um, but can we agree according to Does the scripture my... say bulk? Yes, we're gonna show you. Um, okay, can we can we pull that scripture? Yeah, but before I just want to ask you. Um, do you agree, according to Jeremiah 7 and 15, that the northern kingdom was not in the land of Babylon with Nebuchadnezzar? I mean, the land of Babylon, and that they second Ezra 13 corroborates that they were already gone. Huh? When you say the land of that, you use the semantics. When you say when when you say the land of Babylon, we know where the land of Babylon was. Like, yes, yes, yes. Iraq, and, right? And, 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 Iraq. Yes, and he okay. came and took the southern kingdom to Babylon. Okay. But what I'm, what saying, I'm saying is, saying what, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, did not King Nebuchadnezzar have the whole world under his hand? Did he have? Did he have America in his hand? Yes or no? Is that the whole world? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So well, Nebuchadnezzar if, had control of America during his time. Is there any? Is there any evidence that proves no? <laughs> Man, okay, look, look, look. I'm asking. Can can can, can we just can we just I want to I want to get to the scripture instead of instead of rhetoric and diatribes. So I just want to be clear. Let us all know: Was the Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom in Iraq together under Nebuchadnezzar? I never said the Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom were in Iraq together. I said they was <laughs> all under the Babel. They was all if 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 Babylon if Babylon conquered Assyria. 
and Assyria had us under captivity. Even though some of us did go off, all of us did not go. The scripture does not say all of us went to Arsenal. It said those people that was over there were considered <laughs> were were the were of the ten okay. tribe. It didn't say all of us went there. So I, let's get the Jeremiah. Get yeah, the, I'm there, man. It's go just, ahead, go ahead. You got it. All right. I'm saying, I'm saying, am I? It does it say all? Does it say all of the ten tribes? When it there? says those are the ten tribes, who are those ten tribes right there? Okay, so if those, if the, if those, if the ten tribes, okay, see that's what I'm saying. If the ten tribes, if the, if the majority of the ten tribes, or even if you say all of the ten tribes came to Arsura, that means that the scattering throughout the four quarters of Earth hasn't happened yet. No, here's what we're saying. Okay, Deacon read the scripture earlier, Jeremiah seven and fifteen, and I will cast you, Judah, out of my sight, even as I have casted out your brethren, the whole seed of Ephraim. Yeah, that's talk. That's talking about cast them out as a people. That he, okay, he was going to leave them. them he was right? going to leave them all as a people okay. and leave them defenseless. All, all of them, right? All of them, yeah. right? Cast them out of the land. Take, take over real quick. I got to move. One second. Okay. He was saying he was, saying he was gonna cast them out of the land. Okay. So since we agree that they weren't in Iraq, how do you reconcile Jeremiah? Because now we're gonna prove to you that where where do you say Mystery Babylon is? United States. The 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 seven the last the last kingdom of Esau is okay. United States. Okay. All praises. So. The northern kingdom is here. Yes, the northern kingdom is here. But the, the, what I'm saying is, the people you identify as the northern kingdom would be okay. Are you southern kingdom or northern kingdom? Okay, I'm. A, how do we? How, I know I'm an Israelite. Okay, so you don't know if you're southern kingdom or northern kingdom. I uh, no, no. I know I'm an Israelite, and and like to say that I'm from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, or Levi, or any other ten tribes. Like you, I'm. Like, like you said earlier, we have to do a DNA test. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I was just trying to. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, just just using, I'm just using. I'm just. I'm just using that because you brought that up. Because well, well, the only can, way you, the only way, can, the only way you will be able to tell, like, if you're gonna say anything by DNA test, you will have to have Judah, Benjamin, Levi blood on file and be able to test the blood. So, like. Mm -hmm. We can't the say Bible speaks of the Bible shows us how to identify each tribe and exactly by the indigenous curse of people. We have we have indigenous people who have even confessed to their tribes. For example, we came from the kingdom of Judah in West Africa, right? Did you know there was a kingdom of Judah there? Yes, I knew that. Okay. And then there's the kingdom of Benin, and we had three slave posts. There's your three. We have more slave posts, but three major slave posts within that that area of the Negro land map. So we were already operating as three separate entities: the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Exactly. Okay, so that gives you an idea when you do a historical analysis of something called the European slave competition, which European nations came to which tribes over there and brought us over here. That's how you can trace and track who the Southern Kingdom are. Okay, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that fact. What I'm saying is that you, you have, you had multiple sets of people over here. Just and like you had multiple, people? just like before you had multiple. Before we got here, before we got stolen from West Africa, who were these people over here? Before we got stolen from West Africa, who was the people over here? Yeah, you, I mean, you had you had you had Africans over here, you had Chinese over here, you had a lot of a lot of different nations over here by historical record. Okay, go ahead and prove it. Like I said, this is historical record. You can look it up on history.com or any any reputable source. You can't say historical records as a broad. <laughs> All right, I got a question is for him. Why did the indigenous people of this land? have uh the decalogue stone hebrew writings and ten commandments and they also had the, like the back creek inscription who taught these people hebrew writings hebrew language and hebrew culture and customs we our people like i said i'm not i'm not saying that our people were not over here because i like i said the we were scattered throughout the four quarters of the earth but what i'm saying is we were over here with other nations too other, with other nations over here <clears throat> 
Can you prove that? Hello? Yeah, we're here, man. Okay, so... Hold on. How did them people get here? Like the Chinese people and stuff. How did they get here? I mean, people that had been which Macau circ I mean, navigating the world for years. For hundreds of years, thousands of years. So Chinese a bunch of Chinese people took a boat to America before Native Americans got here. That's what you're saying. I didn't say they took a boat. You said circumnavigating the earth. How did they do that? Did they walk mm -hmm. on water? I mean, no, you can go through the north. What? How? People have tra traveled through the north. What are you? What do you mean traveled through the north? <laughs> through the northern, um, put, I mean, what's that called? Um, it starts. It, it starts with a B. Yeah, but even when he says it, Deacon, that's not circumnavigating the earth. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not saying that the Chinese circum. I'm saying many people people have circumnavigated the earth. You're pinpoint. You're trying to pinpoint on words. And no, I'm, I'm going based on what you said. How did I say? Okay, go. Here? So I said people have circumnavigated the earth, and I said many nations was over here, like the Chinese. I didn't say okay. the Chinese circumnavigated. The, okay, the earth. so when? Okay, how did the Chinese get here before Native Americans? I didn't see. That's what I'm saying. I didn't say the Chinese were here before the Native Americans. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I yes, said there were did. many nations over here. Was Chinese okay. one of them? How there did the Africans get here? Say that again. How did the Africans get here? They travel by boat. Okay. That's that's now that's that you can look up records of uh who was that? Mansa like Monta, Montezuma, Mansa Musa. He he traveled over here. Okay. Uh and, and when we look at when we look at this, are you familiar with a book called The Americas Before Columbus? Because you keep talking about historical facts. So let's just go into some history and archaeology. Why are the people of the Seminole Indians saying they're from the tribe of Reuben if you're saying we can't pinpoint our tribes? Because it was um, prophesied that people were going to take our inheritance and take our identity. Yeah, but did every single last one of us lose our identity? No, and it was also prophesied we was going to go over there and live and take take the names of the heathens too so what i'm saying is it we was over here and we and and, the, and whoever our people that was over here started living as the heathens and they took and the heathens was among us and we was among the heathens over here okay Since so what i'm saying china, is our people, our people, china, our people hold on we talked people, about the chinese people, earlier brother you talked about people. the chinese earlier so what i'm I, asking is, i what brought up i brought up the, i brought up the chinese as an example of people that were over here before we got over here many people was many if many people was over here the even in the time of um uh, what's that called nimrod nimrod when god scattered the people throughout the four quarters of the earth he scattered people over throughout the four quarters of earth so they bring okay. people over here listen listen to what i'm saying though king since you brought up chinese or china i'm asking what the hell does it have to do with the price of tea in china of me asking you why the native americans are saying they're from the tribe of Ruben, Ruben down in the seminole part region of, the, of, of this country because some of our people were over here okay so but you said we can't identify by tribe No, I said I can't tell you which McCall, what tribe I'm from, because I don't know if I'm from Jude. I could be from Benjamin. I could be from Levi. But you said earlier that you don't know. I said by a blood what, test. You can't northern tell. Kingdom? No, you said you don't know if you're Northern Kingdom or Southern Kingdom. You don't. But you just said you don't know if you're Judah, Benjamin or Levi exactly like i'm just saying as a as an example of tribes i, I wouldn't say all 12 tribes 
Okay, so the Bible says you identify the Israelites by the curses, right? Yes. Okay, so my question is, is when you look at the history, when you look at all the books, all the archaeology, I'm glad you these Native up. Americans, hold on, I'm going to give you the floor. Why are these Native Americans and indigenous people of Aztec, Mayan descent, saying that they're Hebrew Israelites, what tribe they're from, a city in Mexico called Issachar, the archaeology, who came over here and taught these people, uh, uh, um, these Hebrew culture, this Hebrew, who come over here diffused with them, as they call it, from a sociological perspective? So you're admitting that some people, you're, hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying to go base, go off what you just said. Yeah. You are admitting that people came over here and taught another people Hebrew no. culture. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the indigenous people who don't look like you phenotypically, I'm talking about on the walls in archaeology who look like the people we say are the Northern Kingdom. They said that they are Israelites. They have Hebrew language, dialects and writings and Ten Commandments. Who came over here and taught them that if they are not Hebrew Israelites? Our people came over here and taught them. OK, prove that to me, please. You just proved it with with Ezra. So when we, when, is America. I'm just, I'm just saying we're going to go and say our is America. You just proved that with your own with your own sure, scripture. Brother, you just said you said our was North Africa. Now you're so your head is rolling down the block. Now you're saying our is America. When did I say our was North America? Just now. You just said it just now. No, I. Hey, brother. Listen, man, we love you. Shalom. Deacon Sakari. We back at it like a crack at it. They done let them bruise in the dough in this wicked industry to shine the light on. They done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh. They done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. They done let them bruise in the dough. They don't let them bruise in the dough. Look, Joe Biden need to free dark low. The hell is wrong with dude? No Alamolek, but I got perfect vision in the dark. I'm a lexicon, I'm a megalodon. All my verses ripping them apart. Mosaic law with the church is missing. It's the worst religion from the start. Start. In my soul, where the word is written, out of circumcision, not a heart. I'm rocking my fringes. I'm in Seattle, rocking like Hendrix. No industry gimmicks. You rappers to finish. I'm kicking the door off the hinges. Throwing stones like you sinless till you get the finish. You should have repented in minutes. This truth is endless. They loving the image. I know what happened to Kim. What happened to Kim? I keep my pencil on point, no sharpener. Used to weigh pounds of troll. I lay down the flow like carpenters. She causing division in the sisterhood. I'm marking on. I'm preparing the way for the harvester. I'm a harbinger. Popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True. Some sisters is dead traps, hair wraps, but you still a thought though. The church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. And the Arabs selling you all the switches and the malt liquor are the Ishmaelites. You can show a nigga slave ships and the Bible still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then a nigga gotta find out what them missiles like.